What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you a nice and simple side dish. This is my recipe for fingerling potatoes. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell and enable notifications as well. All right, enough run my mouth, meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. First things first, we need some nice clean fingerling potatoes. You can find these at most of your grocery stores. I like these because they're tri-color. They come with red, purple, and gold. Just looks really nice on the plate and they're super delicious and nutritious. Just give them a nice uh, rinse under some cold water. Clean them off nicely and then we're gonna bring them to our cutting board to slice in half as you see me doing right here. You wanna try to make sure they're as even in size as possible. You want to grab some of the larger ones. You might have to quarter them up just to try to make sure they're nice and even. Just do the best you can. It'll be fine either way. Looking good. Now we're going to break out some fresh herbs. Not the ones you're thinking of. I'm talking about rosemary. The fresh herbs really add a nice pop to this dish and rosemary just goes perfectly with potatoes. So if you've never tried it, definitely give this a try. Fresh is best, but if you have the dry stuff, you can you can use that as well. Pull the leaves off of the stem as you see me doing right here and just give them a nice rough chop. You can use some thyme if you want, any kind of Italian seasoning, all of that stuff works beautifully with potatoes. And if you can't find fingerling potatoes, you can use this recipe for any kind of roasted potatoes. Just adjust the cooking time depending on how large the potatoes are. There we go, we're gonna add our potatoes to this mixing bowl here and get them nice and dressed up. Going down with some avocado oil. You can use olive oil or whatever you like as well. I like avocado oil because it's a bit healthier for you and has a pretty high smoke point. So about a tablespoon or two of avocado oil, we're going down with some kosher salt and just get in there with your hands and make sure all of the potatoes are evenly coated in that seasoning. Next, we're going down with some Italian seasoning as well. Again, Italian seasoning, any kind of herbs, that sort of stuff goes beautifully with potatoes. Next, we're going down with some chipotle chili powder just to add a little bit of color and a, and a little bit of kick. Next, going in with some smoked paprika. And those fresh herbs we chopped up earlier. Just get in there with your hands, toss the potatoes around. Again, make sure that they're all evenly coated in all of that deliciousness. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Line a baking sheet with some foil. Spray it down just so the potatoes don't stick too bad. And then you wanna lay the potatoes face down. That way they get some good caramelization going, get some color. The natural sugars will begin to render from the potatoes and caramelize. Just makes for a beautiful presentation. This is how we're looking after about 15 to 20 minutes. Once you start to see some color developing on the bottom side, we're gonna go ahead and flip them over. As you see me struggling to do right here. Those look perfect. Total cook time is about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on how large your potatoes are. Just keep an eye on them, you know, touch them with your finger, poke them with a fork, see if they're getting tender. Once they're just about there, add some shredded Parmesan cheese, pop them back in the oven until that cheese melts, and they look like this. I think this counts as a money shot. Next, we're going down with a little bit of black truffle oil. You can find this at most of your grocery stores as well in the olive oil section. Truffle oil is fantastic. It adds a little bit of elegance to this recipe and just makes the potatoes really pop. You can throw that truffle oil on french fries and make truffle fries. Lots of stuff you can do with it. It's a little bit pricey, but it's worth it in my opinion if you're trying to jazz up a basic dish. We're gonna plate these up and garnish with a little chopped parsley just for a pop of color. And now you're getting your money shot. Oh man, those potatoes look good. I've got to get in there and try me one. Let me know in the comments if you plan on making this. As always, guys, the specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below. This is a perfect meal prep option. Let's check out the taste test. Mmm. That's a good one. Full disclosure, that's the first time I've ever thrown any food in the air and caught it with my mouth, did it on camera. That's how you make it happen, people. 
Make sure you give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, hit that bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.